Hello everyone, I'm Giuseppe Mano. Welcome back. Today we are going to do a planar painting and we are going to paint this beautiful barn. So here we are in this beautiful farm that I found after I drove for a little while. And uh, I saw this beautiful barn and asked the owner if I could paint it. He was very happy to let me. So I start here with the shadow side. It's a perfect day. I like uh, the highlights and the shadow on uh, this beautiful barn. And uh, as you say, I went very dark on the shadow. Sometimes it happens, a lot of people, what they do, they paint the shadow too light. But squinting my eyes, I can see the relationship between the shadow and the highlights. And you will see that even if now seems very dark, is the right value. Now, I really like the highlights that goes on this part of the, of the barn. And I will use a kind of orange color first, and after I will add some little bit more light highlights. I'm going to try to simplify this barn, and I give myself only 45 minutes, as always. Just try to catch the, the color, the highlights. It's a perfect spot for me. I'm glad that the owner was kind of happy to let me paint this. Now I start with the left side, is where the sun is hitting, and uh, I put more warm color on this side, because it's hit by the sun. I'm putting some color, and after I'm going to use this tool just to scrape some some paint this tool is used by brian mark taylor an awesome painter one of my favorite painter he paints very very loose and does beautiful work you guys should, should check it out now i'm putting my darkest dark that is the door now what i do i focus on uh, forms and now you can see, I look at the relationship between the dark of the door, that is my darkest dark, the highlight I just put in, very warm highlight, and my shadow. Now start putting some dark underneath the roof on the shadow side. I use a very dark color. There's some dark here underneath the roof. And now I use again my tool to get some highlights in the edge of the roof. Start with some green. Now, very important, try to get the value right because if you start get the grass too dark uh, or the roof the highlights or everything the paint not gonna look right now start some shadow on the right side of this barn and putting some color As I do all the time, I try just to do the first coat on the painting and get the canvas covered up. You can see that now we start getting some nice effect and the barn starts looking pretty good already. This time I left for last the sky. You know, they usually I start from the far away stuff and coming to the foreground this time i left for the last and now i try to model with my sky and try to straight some of the barn with the blue of the sky i 
I got a little bit lighter on the left side of the sky because the sun was hitting from the left and make it a little darker on the right. At this point I start to put some details and this is the part that I really like because every detail you put you see the painting start coming alive and still I'm gonna try to be very loose I remember when I started doing plain air I would try to get all the little detail all the little foliage and you when you are in plain air you are out in the field you just gotta try to do faster than you can because the lights can move uh, so you got just gotta catch the moment and the color and that's what I do all the time I do a lot of them a lot of this planar painting and if I like what I do in the field maybe I'll come back in the studio work a little bit more putting some details and maybe do a bigger painting I'm painting on a panel 9 by 12 made by myself I will do a video soon on how I make my own panel because there are a lot of panels there that you can buy but they get very expensive and the one that I make myself they are very good quality start working on some detail on this barn Anything, anything I put here in this stage and in my painting can help me when I go in studio if I want to make a bigger painting. The beautiful plain air is first of all you are out, outdoor in the nature because you get tired I'm working in my studio every day, several hours, and last winter was very long. So for me now, I'm trying to go out at least three times a week, enjoy the nature and paint. It's a lot of learning. You really can see the, the real color. It's a good exercise. Because uh, there are a lot of people that they can take a picture, do a very good job, but you lose the color if you are not a really very good photographer. I'm not very good at it really, if I have a, a good camera. Now you see already that I kind of catch everything that I need and put in the canvas. Try to simplify my plain air. More you go out and paint, and more you get better. Remember, first couple of plain air that I did, I wasn't very happy with, because it's very different than stay home and copy from a picture or go over there and look this big thing in front of you and decide a little corner of this beautiful nature to paint. That is a amazing experience. You can see here it was a beautiful spot that I have. There's so many things to paint here and here the final painting was very very fun and amazing day all right guys we're done for today thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy please remember to subscribe my channel for more video like this and check my website at gmamanoart.com i'll see you very soon ciao